Give me those sugar chips. Oh. Irish whiskey? It's just 6 a.m. Don't you think it's a little too early for that? I am paying you money. It don't matter what time it is. Let me ask, you ever had a girlfriend, someone you stayed and fucked with? Yeah. Hmm. What was her name? Don't remember. How you had a stable girlfriend and you don't remember her thing? You asked me if I ever fucked a bitch on a regional. Not if I remember their name. It's about damn time you showed up. You kept my ass freezing out here the whole fucking night. I had some shit to take care of. Sorry about that. You got my pocket? You got my money? Gotta check, nigga. Shit ain't person. Just business. It's a clean slot. Make sure you take a good shot. Don't like my shit getting soggy. entered an abandoned building. We have no eyes in. We need immediate backup. 5021, I repeat, we need immediate backup. Offenders just entered an abandoned building.
fucking hopes. It's okay, my daughter. Everything is gonna be all right. You have to go to school. You're gonna be late. I'll get it, I'm heading out on the way.
What do you want? Look, there's no money here. I don't need your money. Then what do you want? I just want to kill some time. Then go to the library. This is my home. Hey, take it easy. You pointed a gun at my daughter's face. How the fuck am I supposed to take it easy? Because I have the gun. Yeah, you do, don't you? That's right. So, how much time do you need? How long is this gonna be? For as long as it takes. Because we might be here for a while. Is there anyone else here? No. It's just me and my daughter. Good. That's very good. So, what's your name? What? Your name, you have a name, right? Gerard. Gerard. Thomas. Gerard Thomas, and this would be you. Why do you want to know her name? Because I like knowing who I'm talking to. Jane! You see? That wasn't hard. And what's your name? Why do you want to know my name? Because I want to know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Fair enough. You can call me Gary. Fifty twenty one. We've secured the west side. Moving in for checkup now. This motherfucker killed one of our very own. I'm not gonna rest till he's behind bars. Let's go, truck. Okay, Gary. So, what now? Now we wait. Don't worry, sweetie. I'm not some psycho. Nobody's getting raped here. Can you put on the TV? In fact, the news. Yes, Linda, I hear you. I'm here on 110th and 3rd Avenue where there's been another shooting in which two more police officers have lost their lives. We can see a massive presence by the Metropolis. I don't know if you can see, but there are police choppers all over, and several news choppers are also circling by the area. The situation down here is very intense. The tension is very high. We are seeing a massive police presence in this neighborhood. It's just a shooting thing. The who and how is still remain an unanswered question, but for now, they just want to catch this guy. It's a real report. Can you put up the TV? Is that you they're showing on the TV? Yeah. 
Did you really kill those cops? That's right. Why? Because they asked me so many questions. Do I make you nervous? Yes. Don't be. I didn't come here to hurt you. That I promise. You give me your word on that? I just did. But if you're trying to pull something, trying to be clever in any way, don't think for a second I would have any reservations for both of you. I will execute the both of you right here. We won't try nothing. Good. Good. So, tell me something, Gerard, about yourself. What do you do? Construction. Union? Yes. How come you're not at work? I work the graveyard shift. Temperatures are probably cool at night anyway. It can get down sometime. So, where is your wife? Entebbe. Entebbe? Divorced? Yeah. Are you good custody? We agreed to let our daughter finish her senior year. the boy I think we are done talking about my family here we are done when I say we're done now let's remember who is having a gun in this room so who is the kid my son Jacob I thought you said it's just you and your daughter you see with your wife we don't know. What do you mean you don't know? One day he just just didn't come home. The bus stopped and he wasn't there. The driver said he saw him get off coming to the building, but we never saw him. That was two years ago. So, she blamed you? She never said she did, but we both know why she left. I was his father, and it was my duty to protect him. I failed. That must have been hard on you. Hard is not a word near to me. Sorry for cutting this short, Gerard, but my window of opportunity has just presented itself. What have I said? It's not about what you said. It's about what you did. What did I do? Do you remember about five years ago, a nightclub on 28th Street? More of a lounge. You had an altercation with a man. Something about a spilled drink. 
an argument which escalated into a heated fight. Familiar? He walked away from that fight. The man, however, spilled into a coma and died a few days later. That man you killed, let's just say that he's connected. Is that why you came here? What about these cops chasing you? I figured you, you, you robbed a bank or something. They pulled me over the way to you. I told them not to check the trunk. I fucking told them. So one cop led to two cops. Then there are three. And then before, you know it, I am up to five with the entire city out looking for me. All that though was just getting in the way of this. Jesus! It was just a fight! Police! Open up! Police! Open up! Yes, officer. We're looking for this gay guy. You've seen him around? I've never seen him before. You sure I've never seen him before? No, no I've not seen him before. You sure? Very sure. Are you alone inside? Yes, officer. I'm gonna ask you to step aside. We are here to help. Hey! Oh, no. 
I know I done wrong, I'll pay for it. Go. It's your turn to talk for what I'm listening. Say that you don't want me, say that you don't need me. Tell me I'm a fool. Tell me you've been tortured, tell me you've been betrayed. No, what I've done to you. Even if it doesn't matter, matter was true. Say that you don't want me, say that you don't need me. Tell me I'm a fool. Look at all this heartache, what is that? Forget it, now we started, this is how it ends Oh no, I know I done some wrong So, who is the boy? My son, Jacob. Jacob? Drink this. What is all this about? And who the fuck are you? You get a lot of questions. And so do I. For status, what are you doing breaking into my house? I just needed a place to hide. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're the guy. The guy on the news. The one that all the cops are after. Is it true? They say you killed five cops in five hours. You just got the wrong guy. No. I don't think I do. I have the gunshots from the nearby house. That was you, wasn't it? 
What were you doing in Gerard's house? And what are you doing with Gerard's son? <laughs> you noticed him, huh? Jacob is just an addition to my collection. I don't usually pick up kids from around, but an opportunity just presented itself. So you collect kids? Mm. Let's say just hold on to them for a while, get to know them, make them feel comfortable. <laughs> but they don't look comfortable. What do you know? I know you are fucked up in the head. You are on a whole different level of crazy there, old man. Why am I crazy? Because I act on my impulses, my desires, and of all people I thought you would understand. Understand what? That we do not play by the rules. We do what we want to do. While the rest of the ship follow the herd. We are wolves. Wolves don't follow the ship. We feast on them. You think you are a wolf? Because you kidnap and mutilate young boys. You are a fucking parasite. Sick. An evil part of all this is deep down. You actually enjoy it? Oh. I do. Why kids though? Because they're easy. Easy to capture. Easy to handle. And they're not very bright. All you need is some smile, something that lights up. That's all it takes. That's what you call a wolf? Just let me go. And I'll show you what a real wolf is. Big Gary without his big gun. I wouldn't even need it. I could knock your neck without breaking a sweat. Oh, you got chills. Real tough guy, huh? You don't look so tough right now. Let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. <laughs> You are a persistent one, aren't you? <laughs> I got something for you. Just stay right there. I'll be right back. Where do I owe this pleasure? We are looking for this guy, Gary. Have you seen him? Let me see. No, doesn't look familiar. You mind if I take a look inside? We got reports of gunshots in this neighborhood. They are asking us to secure all the houses. Sure, come in. Don't you want to take a look at the bedroom? No, I think I'm good here. I mean, you can take a look at the bedroom if you want to.
have a nice day. Since you refuse to tell me who you really are, I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut this little meeting short. Now I can go for hours hitting you on the head just like this little sad soul. But time is not on our side. School is gonna be let out soon and I gotta go scout out my new little lamb chops. shoot me? I treated you good, remember? All the good times we had. Now put that gun down before you hurt yourself. Shoot her, Jacob. See, now you made me upset. Jacob! <laughs> I think you've got enough of your fun. It's my turn now. Now, where is this one coming from? Cause we all we got So you better Nope, I ain't been asleep Up about seven days a week Either you starve or you eat Yeah, when that pack in, I'm gonna move it mm. Drop off, don't you lose it mm. Everybody wanna be the boss Cross me, then your life gonna lose it uh. I can't trust them, no Ask me, I don't know I plead the fifth Better think before you cross me No, I keep it on Gotta watch over your shoulder Cause they wanna take your spot So you better Always riding with the gang in them trenches Cause we all we got So you better Gotta watch over your shoulder Cause they wanna take your spot So you better Always riding with the gang in them trenches Cause we all we got So you better Ain't no love here Ain't no trust here When you on that block You better tuck your chain round here 